Hey student developers, Gavin Gear here from the Microsoft Imagine team. If you're like me, you absolutely love taking some sort of a concept in your head and using maker boards or whatever hardware you have on hand to make that idea into something real, into something tangible. Regardless of whether you want to make a quadcopter or a drone or a robot or a smart lock, I've even made a smart toaster with Raspberry Pi. I've got a Raspberry Pi 2 here. In another video, I went over the Adafruit Windows 10 IoT Core Starter Pack uh, with Steve Teixeira. We did kind of an unboxing and an overview of what Windows 10 IoT Core is. It's the base version of Windows that runs on small developer boards, kiosk hardware, that sort of a thing. In this video, I want to show you just how easy and how quick it is. In just a few minutes, you can provision your SD card, pop it in, get your Raspberry Pi 2 up and going with Windows 10 IoT Core. Let me first show you what's included in this Adafruit kit. So check this out. With the kit, you're going to get everything you need to get started. You've got the Raspberry Pi 2 board. You've got an 8 gig SD card. We've got a Wi-Fi adapter that we can optionally use. We can also use onboard Ethernet, which is cool. We've got a power supply. We've got an Adafruit smoked case that we can put the board in. We've got resistors, capacitors, LEDs, and other components. We've got our jumpers and our breadboard. We've got an ADC controller. We've got a temperature sensor and an RGB sensor. All sorts of good stuff. All we're going to need for this part of the process is the board, the SD card, the power supply, and I'm also going to use an HDMI cable full size, which is a great part of this uh, board, to run it to our display so that we can get it going. So before we boot up our Pi, we're going to need to get the latest image of Windows 10 IoT Core on our SD card. And this is where the magic happens. I've downloaded the IoT Core dashboard app. You can find this on windowsondevices.com, which is where you're going to find all your samples and other resources as well. What's cool about this is you don't need multiple utilities. You don't need to manually flash anything. The IoT dashboard app is going to take care of all of that for you. So we're going to click on set up a new device. We have a Raspberry Pi 2. You can see here we have other options including Minoboard Max, Dragonboard 410C. So we want Raspberry Pi 2 and we want Windows 10 IoT Core for Raspberry Pi 2. It's going to automatically detect the SD card that I put into the card reader on my laptop. All I have to do is accept the license terms and click download and install. So now I get the latest image downloaded and it's going to go ahead and provision the card, install the image, and that's going to get us everything we need to boot up and get going with Raspberry Pi 2 and Windows 10 IoT Core. So now that our SD card provisioning is done, we can take our micro SD card, insert it into the Raspberry Pi 2. It's going to click in. We hook up our display cable. Got a full size HDMI cable going into my monitor here. And then we're going to also need to hook up our power, which is micro USB, using the uh, included adapter here. Now we're going to boot into our default experience with Windows 10 IoT Core. So you can see that in just a few minutes you can get up and going with Raspberry Pi 2 and Windows 10 IoT Core. The IoT Dashboard app is really helpful in streamlining that process. Now, in a follow-on post, what I want to do next is show you just how easy it is to write universal Windows apps that you can deploy to Raspberry Pi 2. And what I want to do is use the GPIO pins to do something fun. So make sure you stick around and check out that post here on Microsoft Imagine. Thanks.